Many animal species are currently on the verge of extinction, and their situation is very critical. If we don't respond correctly, a lot of these animals might not make it to the next New Year's evening. Let's take a look at some of the most endangered animals in 2023. Asian elephant. Loving elephants is simple because they act like people and have feelings, which makes us care about them. But sadly, the Asian elephants might not be here for much longer. Right now, there are less than 40,000 of them in the wild. People hunt them for their tusks and ivory, which puts them in danger. Irrawaddy dolphin. Now let's discuss a different group of dolphins. Unlike most dolphins, they don't have sleek bodies or long noses. Instead, they have short noses and round foreheads. These dolphins can live in both rivers and oceans. But even though they can live in two types of places, the Irrawaddy dolphins are at risk of dying out. They are one of the rarest animals in 2023, with only a little more than 80 left. They are still caught accidentally while fishing, which is a big problem. So we really need to take care of them. Amur Leopard The Amur Leopard comes from the far eastern part of the world. These wildcats might not make it to 2023 because people are killing too many of them for money. There isn't enough food for them, and people keep hunting them, so their numbers are going down. As we enter the new year, there are only around 40 of these leopards left in the wild in Russia, mountain gorilla. The mountain gorilla is a type of big monkey that lives in Africa. These monkeys and their family have been hurt by people hunting them and losing their homes. The gorillas also get sick easily, which has caused a big drop in their population. Because of all these problems, there are now only a few hundred mountain gorillas left in the world. Javan rhinoceros. Continuing with our inventory of highly endangered species, we come across the subspecies of rhinoceros known as Javan rhinos. The population of these rhinos has descended to a very low figure, with just 67 of these magnificent creatures sticking around. Similarly, these rhinos lead a private life, residing within a park located on the southwestern extremity of the Java island, Vaquita. We're going underwater to talk about the next endangered member of our group. The vaquita, a tiny sea animal, is part of the same family as whales, dolphins and porpoises. These small swimmers live in the northern Gulf of California. Their numbers are decreasing mostly because people are catching them illegally while fishing. Sadly, these cute creatures often get trapped in fishing nets and don't survive. To make things worse, there are only 10 of these marine animals left. Adax. Well, let's discuss the very rare white antelope. It's called the Adax and lives in Niger. This group of animals that eat grass is in big trouble because there are less than 100 of them left. People looking for oil and hunting without permission have caused their numbers to go down a lot. Leatherback turtle. These big sea turtles are called leatherback turtles because of their tough shell. They're really large and their shells are like leather. These turtles have four legs and like to travel around. They live in the Atlantic, Pacific and Indian oceans because they move a lot. Unfortunately, there aren't as many of them anymore because they sometimes get caught accidentally while fishing and their eggs are lost too much. Tiger. The Bengal tiger, Indochinese tiger, Sumatran tiger, Siberian tiger and Malayan tiger are kinds of tigers that are in danger. The Malayan and Sumatran tigers are in even bigger danger, called critically endangered. There are only about 3,500 tigers left in the wild, and because their homes are being destroyed, they might not make it to 2023. Orangutan. Let's talk about orangutans and how they're getting really close to dying out. The two types that are most in trouble are the Bornean and Sumatran ones. There are only a bit more than 100,000 Bornean orangutans, and just over 7,000 Sumatran orangutans left. The biggest reason for their numbers going down is their homes in the forests getting destroyed, mainly because people are looking for palm oil. Even though these animals have decreased a lot, there is still a chance for them to survive in the upcoming year with renewed energy. People are working hard to increase their numbers, like creating special places for them to live called national parks and wildlife sanctuaries. That's it for today's video. Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos.